Well, new video tonight at 6 showing the aftermath of a shooting near Ohio State's campus. He wasn't a victim. He just got hit by something. The pole and the sign got struck by bullets, okay. which the fragments probably went over because he was hiding right over by the yeah. archive. Well, we now know an OSU grad student was injured in that shooting near the Gateway Film Center. He was hit by shrapnel. Last night's shooting comes after four violent incidents near campus in less than two weeks. Two Fridays ago, a man died after a fight outside of a grocery store in the University District. Four days later, Columbus police shot and killed a man armed with knives. Then on Monday, one person was shot. Finally, ending with last night's shooting just before 6.30. 10 TV's Sarah Jabor spoke with police today. She's live tonight from outside Ohio State Police Headquarters. And Tara, the message today, very strong from those in leadership there. Andrew, that's right. We heard from Chief Bodker with CPD just a couple hours ago. He says that they had video of the suspects. He had a very strong message for those people who are responsible for the shooting. Uh, anyone that was involved in this incident last night, um, you should know that I'm confident we will identify you. And so it's in your best interest to stop down by Columbus Police Headquarters unarmed and let the front desk uh, officers know that you have information about this incident. So either you can come down and voluntarily talk to us or we will identify you. Again, this shooting happened at around 6 last night near North High Street and East 11th Avenue. It's a very busy area with several restaurants, shops, and the bookstore. Police say they believe two groups of young people are the ones involved. Police do not think that this was a random shooting. Now, I spoke to OSU students today about the shooting. They told me that they were worried, but also feel like it's becoming more normal to hear about crime in the area. But I know like a bunch of people had an exam last night. And like they showed up to the exam like after the shooting had happened and then their professor was like, oh, it's canceled. But then they like literally walked through like the crime scene to get to the exam. We live on 9th, so my roommates heard the gunshots and they that's how I heard about it. I got the updates and, you know, even my friends were texting the group chats like, hey, is everybody OK type deal? So um, otherwise, I think the police presence is, I guess, enough, but I don't they can't be everywhere at once. Police say they will be making changes to reassure security on and off campus. Columbus Division of Police says there will be more bike and walk patrols on campus and off. There will also be added security Friday through Sunday. OSU does, of course, have a home game on Saturday. Now, we'll, of course, keep you updated as we learn more information about those suspects. If you have information about the shooting, call CPD or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in Columbus, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.